That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's changed. I feel like, I, feel, I mean, growing up, I definitely had that belief that men didn't cry, boys don't cry. It's it's kind of like, it's a girl's thing to do. It's a woman's thing to do. But as I've got older, I think I've embraced the fact that you can be emotional and it's okay to talk about how you're feeling. I mean, I, I, <laughs> it's funny, but I still can't cry. But I think... I show a bit more emotion than I probably would have if I if it hadn't been normalized. I don't know if you if you if you know what I'm, if you see what I'm talking about. If it's similar for you as well. Well, I mean, growing up, I was kind of brought up in an environment where I was taught definitely. I mean, naturally, I I wasn't growing up as a kid. I wasn't shy to be a bit emotional, but I was. It was kind of let's say taught out of me to be less emotional. I I, I just grew up in that sort of social circle where it was like if you were to cry that's it you're you know that that's you done for basically do you know what i mean yeah but i think when i say emotional right i'm talking about being vulnerable because and for example no because you grew up in that environment where you couldn't show any sort of vulnerability the only the only the only emotion that you're allowed to show is anger growing up as a as pretty a much teenager, pretty as much a teenager, you can't show anything else apart apart from anger if if you cry if you cried or you were sad it was it wasn't but i think now it's a, it's a lot more accepted and i think for example some of my friends like some of my friends and some of the friendships that i have i think it's i can i can speak to them if i'm sad or if i'm upset about something and it's not i won't feel judged Whereas when I was a lot younger, I definitely wouldn't have, you wouldn't have found me talking about, I'm feeling this kind of way today. I'd kind of basically tough it out and get along with it or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I think will be quite an effective idea that we can do? And I think something that we should definitely do as down in the future is probably speak to someone who is in a, in a lower age group to us and see how it might have changed from our time to theirs. I mean, obviously, you know, we're not even old, but still, is is I think it'll be pretty cool to see what is because I'm I'm quite I am curious to know what it's like in in terms of like social interactions in school now, like how it might have changed from our time to 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 what they're going through now. Like, are they are they actually a lot more a lot more open to being emotionally vulnerable and like being open about their feelings, and whatnot? Like, or is is it is it are we only think, thinking that it's better now because we've grown old? We're in that stage now where everyone should be expected to be a lot more mature. Like, maybe it's still like that in schools where people are, are, aren't as open, where they're like, you know, you should still be, have that tough mentality. Is, is that what what the case is? Are we only thinking it's better because you know we've grown up? Where yeah, because everything changed, around yeah, us. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe we don't. We, be, maybe it'd be worth. That definitely would be worth maybe having a conversation with someone and asking them how they feel about, and also basically the older generation as well, someone a lot older and talk about how they think life has changed since they, in the last, like kind of like their, their viewpoint on how life has changed in the last 10, 20 years in terms of the emotional side. I think that would be an interesting conversation to have. We'll do that soon.